Hello everyone. It's already 4 o'clock and we are now going to start our webinar entitled Hour of Code, Blockly Coding with Code.org. So I'm going to introduce myself. I'm, I'm engineer kid Arthur D. Puncardas. I'm an instructor at the Maritime Academy of Asia and the Pacific. And I've been teaching robotics since 2017 and that started when I was assigned as a faculty in charge or advisor of the robotics club in our school. So to start, so before we start, I will greatly appreciate if you will subscribe to our channel or YouTube channel, Kiros Vlogs, if you haven't subscribed yet. Aside from conducting webinars, I will also post tutorial videos about robotics and coding in the future. So what are you waiting for? Click subscribe now. So um, preparation and so I would like to discuss first the preparation and setup before we start our discussion. So your first option will be if you are using laptop right now, I would I want you to make a split screen or two windows um, position side by side together so that you will be able to view my live webinar and the uh, web, um, internet browser at the same time. So the internet browser will be used for our activity. Okay, so if you are using if you are using smart gadgets, it's either iPad, laptop, or cell phone, um, I suggest you use two gadgets because if you will be using cell phone for the activity, it needs, uh, it, it, you, you cannot use that in split screen mode because it requires your cell phone to be, to be in landscape mode. So, that's it. Any question? So, I would like to ask first if you have questions before we start. Yes, thank you for those who have subscribed already. Okay. Now let us proceed into in our introduction first. So since this is our of code, then I might as well explain what is the hour of code. Actually, this, that is simple. So our of code is just a one hour introduction to computer science. So basically, uh, what we are going to discuss in our code is all about our topics that is under computer science. So you might discuss some topics about robotics, information technology, and even mathematics. It is also included. Um, what else? Um, also automation. We can also include that. So our code can be online. It can also be offline. So it depends on our uh, and the availability of our equipment. What is code.org? So basically code.org will be the platform that we are going to use for our Blackly coding for this webinar. So code.org was launched in January 2013 by Iranian American brothers Hadi Partovi and Ali Partovi. It is a non-profit organization and eponymous website that aims to encourage people to learn computer science. What can we find in the Hour of Code? There are a lot of activities that we can find in the Hour of Code that you can give to your students as an activity. So it can be an online activity. And even though offline, because they have this so-called um, offline activity that you can download, they will, uh, there, are, there are downloadable downloadable. Um, I, uh, files in PDF that you can use to teach your students inside the classroom without computer, without the use of computer. So, questions? By the way, I would like to ask if Ma'am Jenny Lu is already there in the chat room. Ma'am Jenny Lu Pangilinan Riel. Ma'am, sound off if you are present. I have no idea because uh, Ma'am Zinolo told me before or uh, a couple of days before that she will be present in the chat room to answer your questions if in case I will not be able to answer your questions. Maybe I'm busy with the with my discussion. So 
So maybe she's there already. I would like to acknowledge Ma'am Jenny Lu Pangilinan, Pangilinan Riel. Thank you, Ma'am. Ma'am Jenny Lu, please just sound off in the chat room if you are there. If not, maybe later she will be there. Okay, now let's move on. Yes, Ma'am Jenny Lu is there already. Present. <laughs> Thank you, Ma'am. Welcome. So, also welcome to everyone who joined this webinar. I really didn't expect to have these numbers of viewers because I was only expecting around 20. But thanks to Ma'am Jenny Lu because um, she invited most of our participants. Uh, she invited most of you. So, this will be our learning outcomes for this webinar. So, we have number one at the end of the session. The, train, uh, the attendees should be able to discuss what is Blackly. Demonstrate writing a code using Blackly through code.org. Solve puzzles by writing a Blackly code in code.org. Demonstrate the steps in creating a section and activity in code.org. So, this demonstrate uh, creating section and activity is a bonus outcome for teachers. So, those who signed up as teachers... Um, you will be given a link later on the video on how to create section and activity in code.org. Now we will start first with our discussion about Blackly. So what is Blackly? So, Blackly is a visual coding language that allows users to create codes by stacking blocks together. These blocks are used to create chunks of code that can later be translated into professional textual code. So, as you can see in the video or in the slides, um, Blackly is just like a, uh, just like assembling Lego parts. So, you need to you just need to drag and drop the blocks into the into another block so that you will create you will be able to create a code so instead of writing the code from from zero or from nothing this one the code is already pre-made and there is a source of the code and you just need to drag and drop unlike in other language like um, javascript or python you need to memorize um, the words or if you cannot memorize, there are some sources from the internet where you can copy paste the code. Um, that's already that's also okay. But in uh, Blackly, it is easier to code. Just drag and drop. So Blackly is a client side program that runs on the browser and can be accessed anywhere. So you can access that through Firefox, Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, Opera Mini, and etc. Invention. So let's talk about who invent, uh, how or when was it invented. So Blackly was developed by Google and was in development since summer of 2011. The final product was introduced in May 2012 at the Maker Fair in San Mateo, California. Why was it created and how does it work? Blackly was created to teach beginners programming. Its visual code blocks linked together like puzzle or Lego pieces so it makes writing code easier. When writing code is easier, learning to code is also easier. So as mentioned, this is just like you are assembling Lego parts. So Blackly is really applicable for beginners in programming. So we are only uh, we are actually lessening the the task of the students because if you are going to teach them immediately into Python or JavaScript, they have they are doing two things at the same time. They need to memorize or to understand the exact words to use for coding. And they also need to analyze what codes they need to to put or to encode to, for that, uh, so that the system will operate. But in this manner, in the Blackly, you do that, the students need, do not need to memorize or to find some sources for the exact words of the code. The code is already there, um, preset, and they only need to drag and drop. So, they will focus on analyzing and not memorizing the words. So, that's the advantage of Blackly. Let's move on. So, why Blackly?
Blockly is an exportable code. So the Blockly codes can be translated into JavaScript, Python, PHP, Lua, and Dart. So you might be thinking, I want, I want to teach my student Python or JavaScript, and then why I'm going to use Blockly? It's because Blockly is convertible. So even though you are teaching Blockly, you are still teaching or going towards to JavaScript or Python or other types of language because JavaScript is, um, what do you call that? Because JavaScript is, you know, uh, exportable. Uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> now let's move on. So I will check first the chat room if you have questions. Okay. So, Blackly is international. It is offered in over 40 plus languages. Yes. Let's move on. Blackly is an open source. Sorry, sorry for that. Blackly is an open source. This means that anyone can pull up the code and manipulate, inspect, modify, or enhance it. So, before we proceed to our next topic, uh, I would like to open the table for questions. If you have some questions, you might write down into the chat room right now. Yes, so I'd like to answer it. So some of you are getting good afternoon. Yes, good afternoon, everyone. Okay, so if you have no question as of the moment, then we will proceed to the next slide. So, um, I hope you are ready right now to create your account in code.org so before you can be able to enter in our section in code.org we need to create an account so i suggest right now oh, in your web browser please search code.org in the browser area so this will be the view that we will see after writing code.org and then all we need to do is uh, there will be a pop-up to select your language so you we may choose english then click submit okay please tell me if you are following properly no and then after seeing this view or window let us click now the sign in button sign in please follow and then after um, clicking the sign in, this window will view or, or will show. If you have already an account in code.org, you might want to log in or sign in. Enter, just enter your e email and password and sign in. But if you do not have an account yet, what we want to do is to create an account. So if you are new to code.org, please click the create an account. Are there anyone uh, from our uh, from our attendees who have already an account in code.org? Please shout out in the or or please type now in the chat room if you have already an account. Yes. So those who have account already, you may click. Uh, you may just sign in. So. And uh, if you are already signed in, let us just wait for others who will be creating their account. Then the next step after clicking the create account, we will proceed into creating an account, an account, an account using your email. So you may input the email that you are using actively. Then enter your password and then password confirmation. Okay, so done. And then next step will be click sign up. So if you click sign up, another window will pop up and then you are going to require to select if you are a student or teacher. For this webinar, if you are teachers, I suggest you click the teacher account because later, if you will be creating a section and activity, a student account has no capability of creating a section and activity. So, uh, teacher only teacher account has the capability of creating a section so i suggest you right uh, as of now you search or you click teacher then you just write your display name 
So any name can do. But I suggest you write your first name, the the first name that you have encoded in our registration registration form for this webinar, so that I will be able to verify um, who have attended um, successfully. So next one will be you will be asked to select your country and the type of your school if it is it if it is private public etc so your school name so just need to type your school name and the next one is click go to my account and then you're done yes so if we are done we will be seeing this window yes so i can see that some is done already then we'll proceed to the bottom part of your dashboard. Yes, so there are some who are um, typing the chat room done. Yes, so thank you if you are done. Congratulations. And then you will see this window here that says join a section. And then I'm going to show you now the section code that you will be using for this webinar. All you need to do is go to the bottom part of your of your uh, dashboard, then jot, uh, write down or type down the section name. So this is the section name, uh, section code, sorry. Okay, are you done? So just like that, so I'm writing the section code in the join a section area. Then click join section. And then what you're going to see is this one. So you will now, if you are already joined, you will now see the batch one HOC webinar section so that's what we want to see and what we want to join for this webinar and then next step if you are seeing this window yes ma'am jenny lu has comment in the chat room teacher zai if you teach in the us your account will not work oh, so the safe per on is to use personal or school email ad Yes, uh, for information about everybody, Ma'am Janelo says that if you're in the U.S., we suggest you use personal or school email, email ad, because your account might not work. Okay, understood. So, we will now proceed. So, after seeing this window now, all we need to do is to start the activity, we will click the number one. you are ready then we might start our activity yes so i can see that uh, most of you have successfully entered already are we ready now so we will start with our activity so congratulations for entering our section we will now start okay so you might want to click number one, that's the, num the number one inside the circle. So we'll start with level one. I'm also going to verify if uh, you have already entered. Yes, so there are already a lot. Please tell me in the chat room if you are having problem um, joining the section because I'm not sure if you will if uh, that your numbers can can be accumulated in the can be accumulated in the you know um code.org but i think it's okay in case you will be having problem logging in or joining the section please tell me because i will just create another section for now uh we will use this one Okay, so for those who were left behind or yung hindi po nakasunod, again, uh, the section code is shown in the 
in this video so you, all you need to do is to to type or search code.org in the browser then create an account after creating an account on the bottom part of the of your browser of your what do you call that at the bottom part of your dashboard then you will see the join section so in the join section area just type this section code and then you will be able to join then we will let me start already okay so before we start we might um watch this video this is an introduction video for the level one Okay, so you may also watch this video in your browser, but now we are going. I'm going to view this first before we start our first activity. Uh, I think I'm having problem with my internet browser. So, okay, before we proceed to that one. Uh, let us i will just first verify the chat room um because i think there are some questions so it's some already done what section code section code i sorry sorry so i need to show the section code this one so section code is viewed in the in an uh, in the video section code is tkqlct so after joining the section, uh, somebody is asking after joining the section what is next. Uh, the next thing you need to do after joining the section is that you will click the, okay. So if you can see this window here, this one. So you just need to click the classic maze, the, the course title. So that will be located in the section that you have just joined in this window. So as you can see, there's batch one HOC webinar and the course is classic maze. So you just click that classic maze and you will be able to view the classic maze um, front page, which is this one. And then we will click number one to start with the level one. Yes. Wait, sir, daw po, wait. Okay, okay na po ba? Okay, let us wait for others who, who are having problem. Ma'am Amy Calatrava, please tell me if you are done na po. Ma'am Amy? So again, if you are joined in your section... Then you will see this course title, Classic Maze. And then you will be able to join the Classic Maze or you will be able to open the Classic Maze by clicking that title. Okay, let us wait for the others, guys. Then na po. So please comment pa po kung sino pang hindi nakapasok. Comment down who who are not yet uh, who are not yet able to join. Not done, Ma'am Amy, not done. Ma'am Amy. Sana po kayo banda, Ma'am Amy.
Natir Dan. Okay. So, ma uh, marami po pong Natir Dan. So, antayin lang po natin. Uh, may question dito, how to show two screens at the same time. You may do that, ma'am, in, uh, uh, I'm not sure, Hello, uh, Sir Angelo, Sir, but, uh, Sir Angelo Delgado, how to show two screens at the same time. You may do that in your laptop by, by viewing the, just like what I did a while ago, by creating a new window. So, just open new window. So, open kayo ng isang window, then open a new window, then one window for, window I'm talking about with browsers or like, just like Google Chrome. So, one window for the YouTube and the other window for the browser. And then you, and then what will you will do is just click the, just click the, tawag dito, maximize or minimize button. May minimize nyo lang, tapos position nyo side by side yung dalawa. Pwede po yan. Yung cellphone, kapag cellphone po medyo mahirap po kasing i-split screen. So, that's why I suggest a while ago, if you are using cellphone, you might want to use two gadgets. Kung cellphone po, dalawang cellphone. So, one cellphone for the viewer, the other one for the um, for the browser. Pero kung wala talaga kayong ibang cellphone, I think the only thing we can do is, ano na lang, um, tawag dito, two viewers na yung pwede siyang ano, multitasking mode ng cellphone pero baka medyo mahirapan kayo kasi lilipat-lipat kayo ng window but if we have no choice, we can do that po so, I can see may nakakomplete na po ng puzzle please chat po kung sino pang hindi pa nakapasok sa classroom sa section po yes, uh, may question Len, Len Bonoy Saan po makikita yung join class? Nasa dashboard po lang po ako. Yes, in the dashboard po, then punta kayo sa pinakailalim ng dashboard. Punta po kayo sa pinakailalim ng dashboard. Then, then makikita po ninyo doon yung join section, pinakababa. Sir, ano? Ano ba yun? Sir? Okay na po ba, Sir? Section code po. Maridel Estabilio, di pa po nakapasok. For a moment po. Okay, so sa mga nagtatanong po, so this is our dashboard. So from the dashboard, all we need to do is to so to drag down from going to the bottom. And then you will see, join a section. So ganun po yun. So ipapakita ko rin po sa isang dashboard. Okay, uh, okay na po ba?
Parang ganito po siya. So, dashboard. Then, you just proceed to the bottom part of the dashboard. Then, you will see join section. So, ito po siya. Join section and then you, you, you type now the section code. Then na po. Please message pa po kung sino pang hindi nakapasok. Section code po is in the screen. Section code is TKQLCT. 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 So, bottom most part of the dashboard or the lower most part of the dashboard then type TKQ TKQ So, you will type TKQ LCT and then just click join. So, parang ganito po. Mamarasel Edroso na naka nakakalagi na po kayo ng account. Ma'am Maricel, not yet sir, nag-log po ako kasi. Ah, sige po ma'am, iulitin nyo lang po ma'am, no? Kung nag-log. So, okay na po ba? Are we clear with the dashboard area? So, proceed to dashboard, lower most part, then you will see the join a section, tapos in code, section code. After entering the section code and clicking the join section, makikita nyo po itong Classroom section I've joined, then you will click Classic Maze. Okay, so may nakikita po akong nag-advance na. <laughs> okay lang po yun, sige. May nag-activity 7 na, si Sir Jeffrey Isla. Isla. So, can we move on? Can we move on now? Si Ma'am Michelle Lomeda, what's next po, sir? Ma'am Michelle Lomeda, are you in the classroom right now? Are you in the section already? Section Ma'am Michelle, I will check also. Okay na po. Okay. I would like to ask the help of Ma'am Jenny Lu. <laughs> Ma'am Jenny Lu, can we move on na po? And then you just um, guide all those who have not yet joined or having a problem. Ma'am. Okay po. Thank you, ma'am. So, we will move on. Okay, we're now starting.
Okay, so we'll start with level 1. Okay, so this is blacklist. So as I mentioned a while ago, uh, on this left side are the provided blocks that we can use. So for each level, there are different blocks that will be given. So it also depends on the provider of the blackly. So in this activity, um, while we are moving forward to the higher level, the blocks will be added later. So for now, we will up to the basic first. So the move forward means, uh, let us first uh, discuss the win run. So win run is just actually the the start code. So to for for the block to be able to so for the block to be able to work, we need to insert or to attach the block in the win run on the win run uh, insert it into the win run block. So, for example, I will take this out. So, as you can see, the color was has become light. That means it will not work because it is not connected to the win run block. So, you need to connect that one. So, the next command will be connected to the first command. So, just like this one. And then, move forward means the Angry, angry Bird will move one space forward. So, for everyone, move forward one space, move forward. So our target for this level 1 uh, maze is for the angry bird to reach the pig. Okay, so that means, uh, first thing is we need to verify first where the angry bird is facing currently. So the angry bird is facing towards the pig already. So that means all we need to do is to just put move forward command. So how many move forward? One, two. So that means two steps, we need to move forward. So this is the solution for number one. Okay. So, understood? So those who are having a problem with uh, entering the section, uh, no worries because you, you can still um, replay this video anytime. Then you can repeat uh, uh, next day. Or if your internet connection is already, is already okay. Then after creating the blocks or the code, next step we will do is click run. Then we will click run. Okay. So that means we did it correctly. So the angry bird was able to reach the pig. Just press con continue and then we'll proceed to the next level. Okay. So in the next level, uh, almost similar, the Angry Bird is, already, is uh, facing towards the pig, but it, instead of vertical direction, it is already in the horizontal direction. So, I want you to solve it first before I will show the solution. Okay, it's 10 seconds enough. I will give you 10 seconds before I show the solution. Or 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Uh, sorry, sorry. Ma'am Loisa Gonzaga, Sir, bakit po iba pong lumabas nung nag-select ako ng level 1? Ano po ba ang lumabas, ma'am? Miss Luisa Gonzales. Gonzales. Um, Miss Luisa, pakicheck na lang po ma'am ng section code or section na sinila ninyo. It should be classic maze po. Or baka po iba yung napindot ninyong number. Please check na lang din po. 
Okay, so we will move on. Okay, so time's up. So we will now show the solution. So we just in this problem, we just need to add another blocks. So just uh, again count the number of steps for the angry bird to reach the pig. One, two, three. So we need we need to add up three move forward, and then click run. <laughs> And then click continue. Let's move on. Okay, so Let's try this one. So I will give you 30 seconds before I rebuild the I rebuild the solution. Yes po, naka-face yung bird sa So, in this problem, so kanina po kasi naka-face yung bird sa pig. So, this time, may angle na tayo. So, we will now use the turn left or turn right command. So, again, so we'll just count how many blocks from the bird to the pig. So, one, two, two blocks forward. After having two blocks forward, what do you think is the next command? So, it, the bird needs to face the pig. So, it will you will give turn right. Tama ba? Turn right. After turn right, another move forward, one step going to the pig. So, ganun po. So, move forward, move forward, and then turn right, and then move forward. So, again, um, reminders. As long as all your blocks are connected together, then you are writing the correct code and then those codes are will work. Because if one of the code is not connected properly, it will light it will have a light color and then it will not work. Only those blocks that are connected together will work. So this time we will uh, click run. And that's it. So we'll proceed to the next we'll move on to the next level. Um Jen Tom disconnected po ako may ulan dito na stable. Ah uh, yun lang sir, I'm sorry for that. Um Yes, if that that's the case sir, you can just uh, you, the, the replay for this webinar will be sent to your email so just wait for it and then you can just do the replay if you are having problem with your connection right now and then you can do again the this classic maze in your in the same account similar account that you have logged in you can just continue this later on no don't worry if you have plugged out if you have stopped because in the future or in the next day um, after opening your account all you need to do is to find the section you have joined in and click classic mix and you will just continue what you where you have stopped. Okay, so in this manner we will immediately show the solution. Okay, so one move forward, turn left, one move forward, turn right, and another move forward to reach the field. So let's see. So we have two angles right now. So turn left first and then move forward again. Then turn right and then move forward again. Is that correct? So let's click run. Okay, so these uh, lower levels are very easy. So we'll move on. Just tell me if you are having problem. Question, Angelo Delgado, how to move two blocks? 
Okay. Um, uh, I'm not sure what you mean, sir. Maybe you all mean moving two blocks that is connected together. Is that what you mean, sir, Angelo Delgado? May comment po si Ma'am Trisha Lynn de, Los de la Rosa. Nakakatawa. Yes, that's, that's correct po. Nakakatawa talaga ito. No? So, itong maganda kasi dito, that's what, uh, that's the advantage of this Blackly because your students will really enjoy. It's just like they are playing games but they are also learning. So, I just want to answer the question of Sir Delgado. Are you still there, sir? Still at level 1. Sir Delgado still at level 1. Habol na lang po kayo, sir. <laughs> okay. My question po kasi, Sir Delgado, how to move two blocks at the same time. You can be able to move two blocks at the same time if you are moving the, the blocks uh, ahead or the, kumbaga yung first block. Kunyari ito, two blocks. So, pag minove natin yung first block before that block, magagalaw din siya. So, something like that. So, this is basically used. Actually, uh, lahat ng blocks or all of the blocks that is connected in each slower part will be moved if you move the top blocks. For example, I will move the top block, the second part, second block. All of the blocks next to them or next to it will also be moved. So basically, basically, this is useful if you are if you want to erase more than one blocks. So, for example, I, I made a mistake and I want to erase all of these blocks. So just drag it and put it back to the to where you have taken it. So the source block is on the left side, this one. So drag and just drop. You can see the the discard icon, and then you're just discarding it. So that's how we discard if you do not we. We made a mistake and we do not need that block. So I guess uh, some of you have already solved this number 5 puzzle. So I will uh, let us now solve. So for this level 5 puzzle, as you can see, the angry bird is facing an obstacle. And then the the pig is on the other side. So, what we need to do first or to the first command that we will give is to make it turn right. Turn right so that it will be facing on the vacant space. Turn right. Then, move forward. So, next step is, of course, you need to um, make the angry bird facing the vacant space again to going towards the pig. Turn left. And then move forward again. So count how many steps forward going to the pig. One, two, three. So move forward three times. One. So we have one, two, three. Move forward. That is one, two, three. Forward. After reaching this space, the next step will be turn left again. So that it will be facing the pig. Then another move forward to reach the pig. So I hope you are able to follow. Then click run. <coughs> sir Jeff Jeffrey Isla. Sir, ano po yung next pag okay na po? Natapos na po ba kayo lahat, sir? Ang bilis naman ni Sir Jeffrey. So, pag tapos na po kayo, sir, standby lang. And actually, uh, pag natapos na kayo lahat dyan ng levels, magbibigay na ng certificate yung code.org. Meron pong iba hindi pa nakakapag-start. Please habol na lang po kayo or if you're having difficulty, um, re replay na lang and then ano. Pwede pa naman po kayo humabol habang nag-discuss ako ngayon sa ating webinar. So, uh, I will just skip this video. no So, you can just watch this on your browser in code.org. So, we'll move on to the next level. Yes, Sir Jeffrey, nakita na po niya yung certificate. So, yan, may certificate po. Ilalagay niyo lang yung full name niyo. Tapos, ang certificate ay in a, J, in a JPEG form or you can download that 
just right click tapos save as picture uh, save picture as tapos jpeg so pero mamaya na po yan okay we will continue so let us solve this puzzle first before we proceed to the next one so in this puzzle straight lang po siya so we just need to count the number of steps 1 2 3 4 5 so we need to two blocks Five moves forward siya. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 moves forward, pero 2 blocks lang ang dapat natin gamitin. Okay, so how are we going to do that? So again, I'm going to repeat. Uh, to reach the pig, we are only allowed to use 2 blocks, but there are 5 steps. So anyone? Anyone who can answer my question while waiting, okay, I will give you 30 seconds to solve and then you may ask your question in the chat room. So again, we only need, so as you can see, may nadagdag na na, ano, no, block. There's a block, another block added. So most probably, yan yung gagamitin natin. Yan. So, Christopher Claron, repeat five times. You are correct, sir. So, we need to repeat. Five, we need to use the repeat block. This is called repeat block. So, may nakasagot na sa ating question. Okay. So, we have this repeat block. This is also called loop block or repeat block. And then, there's a number. So, you can change the number actually kung how many times, if how many times the command will be repeated. So, this time, we will count again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, we need 5 move forward. So, what we will do is use the repeat block and uh, use the num uh, change it to number 5 so that it will move 5 times forward. Okay. So, click run. So, that's how we are... Okay, so it's time. So the solution for this one is, of course, the first block that we will give to the anger bird is to face to face the pig. So what command it is? It should be turn right. Turn right. After turn right, repeat five times. Or let us count if it is really five times. One, two, three, four, five. So same as before five times okay. so i think i forgot to mention please notice the number of workspace on the upper part or the numbers that you can see or the fraction that you can see on the upper part of this workspace we have it says four over four blocks so that means the denominator indicates that that is the number uh, maximum number of blocks that we can use for this puzzle so if you reach the maximum but you still um but you still uh but you're still able to solve the puzzle the the color of this circle will still be green but it will be light green so that means you need improvement we need to follow the instruction to use only three additional three blocks the the fourth blocks is actually the win run block that is included in the number so we actually only use three blocks from the supply you no know? So make sure you follow this maximum number so that your color will be solid green. I can see someone who are having light green color. That means you have solved the puzzle but you have excess blocks. So you might want to go back. You can go back. No, after, Even though you are done already, you can go back to that number. Just click the number with the light green and you can solve again. Or you can debug what, what you need to do. So that it will become solid green. Okay, so let's try to run it. So that's it. We're done with uh, level 7. Let's proceed to level 8.
Okay, so this time. Okay, so I will give you another 30 seconds before I reveal. While reading your chat. Ma'am Joanne Balawag, paano po pumasok? Thanks. I think kakarting lang ni Ma'am Joanne. Ma'am Joanne, um, may section code po na nakaview dito sa ating screen. So, all you need to do is log in to the code.org po. Code.org. Ang may link po tayo sa description area ng video, you can click that link. Or you can just type code.org. And then in code.org, if you have an account, to log in to code.org. If none, mag-create po kayo ng account. Madali lang po create just click create account. Log in, tapos create account. And then you need to, you will be inserting or log in section code in the bottom part of your dashboard. Okay po ma'am. So it's time. Okay, let's see. So, let us count again how many steps forward to reach the the end of this first line. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, again, we will use repeat blocks. But this time, we will change it to 4 times only. Because 1, 2, 3, 4. The Angry Birds on the first action, it only needs to move four, move forward. Before going to the, before turning to the left. So, turn left will be inserted or attached on the bottom part of the repeat block. So, that it will turn left after the repeat. So, what will happen is the action will only be repeated if it is inside the repeat blocks. So, only the action inside the repeat block will be repeated. After repeating a number of times as indicated, it will stop and will move or will go to the next action or to the next command which is the turn left. And then... We will put another repeat block and count how many times uh, for that so that it will reach the pig. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 times. So we will not change the number. It will be 5 times. Then move forward 5 times. So that's the solution. So let us run. Yes, uh, Ma'am Maridel, may comment po si Ma'am Jenny Lu. Ma'am Maridel, baka po sobra yung code niyo po. Error pa din po yun. Sir, sir Dennis Manalo, Sir Level 6 na po, mabagal lang po ang net. Kailangan po bang tapusin lahat? Yes, sir, kailangan po tapusin lahat ng, ng levels para po makuha natin yung certificate. Anyway, kung sabi ko nga kung hindi naman po kayong tapusin ngayon, Okay lang po, pwede nyo balikan nyo, hindi nyo na, or kung saan kayo nag-stop, makukuha nyo pa rin yung certificate po ninyo. Always open lang naman po yung code.org. So, para po sa tanong ni Sir Dennis po yun. O, may nakadan na. So, let's proceed to number 9. Level 9. Okay, so in this level... We have a kind of letter C pathway. So, tingnan natin no, kung paano natin isusolve to. Okay. So, di ko muna isusolve. I will not solve this yet. I want to give you 30 seconds again before I reveal the solution. But it's okay if some of you is done already. Yes, the Sir Dennis J. Gumbok is correct. May makukuha po tayo doon na certificate with customized name. So, after you did all the levels po. I think the timer is already done. Ah, uh, okay. It's time. 
Hindi ko pala napas- napansin. <laughs> so, this time, as you can see, meron po tayong uh, these three straight line has the same distances. So, 1, 2, going to the uh, going forward from the position of the angle bird, then he needs to turn right or rotate right para sa, so that it will, will be facing the other pathway. And then another one, two. And then another turn right. Then another one, two. Okay. So in this manner, what we can do is to insert more than one blocks inside the repeat blocks. So nagets niyo po ba ako? So, just like what I will do right now, move forward, and then another move forward, so, kasi dalawang move forward yun, and then I will insert, turn right, or rotate, turn right, turn right pala, turn right, para mag-face siya doon. So, pag nag-face na siya doon, sa baba, i-repeat lang niya ulit. So, it will, will just repeat again this command. So, another move forward, move forward, and another turn right. And again, it will repeat, move forward, move forward, another turn right. So, there's no problem it, if it will turn, the, turn right on the last move as long as it will not reach an obstacle. So, that it will not uh, bump the obstacle. So, I will not change the number because it is correct. We will be using three times. So, three times moving with the same distances but angled. Okay, so did you understand what I just said? So the, to better understand this block, I'm going to show you a presentation that I have made. So this is actually the flowchart. So to better understand this block in level 9, this is the flowchart. So this is the win run. This is the win run. Sorry, sorry. Level 9. So this win run this win run here is equivalent to the win run on this block. Then okay. So similar with the other repeat blocks in the microcontroller, actually, the microcontroller needs to set a variable. Var means variable. So that it will be able to count how many times the movement or the repeat the blocks has been conducted. So it needs to set a variable and it will set to zero. But if you want to set it to three, it's okay, but it will be deduction. But this time we will reset to zero. And then the command will be move forward. Move forward as shown in the blocks. Move forward, move forward, and then turn right which is this one, also turn right. Then after um, after doing the last command, it will change the variable plus one just to indicate that the action inside the repeat block is has been already done one times, or one time, sorry, one time. Okay. So the next step is the system or the microcontroller will, will ask, is the variable equals to three? So, this is a decision in, represented by a diamond. Okay. So, if the variable is not yet number 3, since we ju just started yet, this, this is the, the first step or the first command that has been done. It is yet, uh, it is still one variable. A variable is equal to 1. So, the answer is no. If the answer is no, it will go back to the move forward as shown in the inside the repeat block. So, again and again, it will repeat and changing variable by 1 every step until it becomes 3. So, if the variable is equals to 3, the answer will become yes. And then, the program will end. So, that's why we have end here. Um, my question po tayo dito. Sir, sa tunay na program coding, meron po bang ganito lang kadali na pagbuo ng programs? Drag, then drop lang, then test. Yes, sir. The answer, uh, this is question from Limwell Condes. The answer is yes. Meron po tayo mga robotics na ang programming ay black lang po, sir Limwell. So, uh, to mention, gumagamit po ako ng Ozobot Evo. So, Ozobot Evo is black You can search that from the internet. 
Meron din po tayong UB Tech, UB Kit. Blackly din po ang programming nila. And I'm also using um, Edison Robot. Uh, Edison Robot is flowchart po ang gamit pero meron din silang program na Blackly. Marami po silang language na pwedeng gamitin. So, ayun. Maganda po yun. Sir, if mag-log out po, pwede po bang ituloy na lang mamaya? Sir Danji Kadasyo. Yes sir, na-mention ko na po kanina. If you want, if you, you will log out now, uh, replay will be sent to your email. Then, pwede po ninyong ituloy sa code.org. Kung saan po kayo nag-stop, pwede nyo ituloy next time na mag-open kayo at mag-login kayo ulit. Pro charting to sir antique turo din po kayo ng flow charting and show the coding yes sir pwede din naman po sige po ha tignan na natin important flow charting yes that's important din po so, may comment dito sa sir pj antique no important flow charting and show the coding kasi foundation siya ng programming that's correct sir i agree so ginagawa ko yung ring po to sa aking students uh, ang equivalent flow chart ng code na ginawa namin, pinapakita ko para din makita nila kung ano yung nasa utak ng ng ano, ng microcontroller. This is what actually we can see inside the brain of the microcontroller. This is the flowchart. So, there's a decision, there's an input, output, and a process. Sir, yun po yung show code ng kabila makatulong dito. Sir, if mag malag out po, pwede po bang ito? Yes, sir. Uh, malag if malag out po, pwedeng maulitin. Okay na po. So, I've answered some of your questions already. Let's move on. So, this is the flow chart for our level 9. And then, let's move on to the next level. In, so, Genilo, ma'am, comment ma'am Genilo Royal, Michael Kit, depende po sa gagamitin ng robot, yung iba pong black coding niya, can view lang po. Yes. So, depende po yun sa robot kasi, um, depende din po kasi yun sa microcontroller ng robot, uh, the, 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 the manufacturer should be, uh, kasi yung manufacturer nagpo-provide sila ng way of programming using a black So, different um, different manufacturer, different brand will have different coding. So, hindi po laging, uh, hindi po isang source lang. Sir, pwede po makahingi po kung saan gumagawa nito. Pasyo po sa live. Ah, may question si Sir Christopher Claron. Sir, pwede po makahingi po kung saan gumagawa nito. Pasyo po sa live. What do you mean po, sir? The, yung ginagamit ko pong ano, live viewer. If you are asking about my live viewer, I'm using um, OBS. I'm using OBS which is connected to YouTube po. Pwede bang i-modify yung code through hard coding, but what specific language ang ginagamit ng Blockly? Actually, ang Blockly has no specific language. It can be converted into, as mentioned a while ago, nag-mention po ako during introduction, ang Blockly can be converted into any language. So, ang Blackly po kasi is parang actually converter lang siya na ginawa ng isang provider para mas madaling mag-code. Pero actually, ang language niya can be a C++, Python, or JavaScript. May question si Jeffrey Isla. How about go doing, sir? Our own apps po, magagamit din po ba ito? Own apps po ba, sir, na Blackly din? It depends po, sir, Sir Jeffrey Isla. Own apps. Kung apps online lang po siya, pwede po. May Actually, meron po tayong activity dito sa code.org na pwede kang gumawa ng apps. Pero ano lang yun, mga gaming apps like that, like Flappy Bird. I think mas imam... Genelo po ay nagtuturo din ng Flappy Bird Coding through code.org. Okay, let's proceed na po. Sige, marami na akong nasagot na question. Sige, uh, I think we can answer this immediately because natagalan din tayo kanina, no? So, may baka yung iba tapos na rin dito. Okay, so this time, 
Okay, so in this problem, in this level, kung nakikita ninyo, if you can see, uh, the number was removed already and it was replaced with a symbol of a pig. So this means the repeat block was inserted with a so-called conditional or others called it logic. Okay, so this is called logic uh, repeat blocks or logic loop. So instead of putting up number, we will use logic. So parang test niya palagi, so just like um, it will always test if the pig is already there, is already reached by the angry bird. So all we need to do is just put the move forward command inside this repeat logic. Ang logic natin is it will test if there is a pig or none. If there is a pig, what will happen is it will stop because the word is until. Repeat until reaching the pig. That's what you how you read the code. Repeat until reaching the pig. So the move forward, move forward will be repeated again and again until it is until it reaches the pig. Uh, I will answer question before I proceed. Mary Ann Salazar, ang certificate ba namin magamit na sa pag ng license? I ah may sagot po siyang general. So, International po yung certificate, di po ako sure. Yes po, actually, hindi rin po ako sure kung i-honor siya. International certificate po siya. Pero I think po yung po siyang gamitin sa pag-rank up sa school. Uh, yes po, pero pagdating po sa license, uh, hindi rin po ako sure. As, as per ma'am general din po. Okay, let's proceed. Now, I will show you, just like what I did a while ago, I also have a flow chart for the level 10. So, this is what will happen. So, a while ago, the question in the test or in the in the decision-making area is, is, is the variable number 3. But this time, we will not use variable because we are not counting the number of steps or the number of times it is being done. But this time, we will now ask if there, if is there a pig. That will be the question. Is there a pig? So, no need to create a variable. The microcontroller now will, will ask or will test if there is a pig already. So, move forward will be repeated and repeated all over again. Sorry. Until it reaches the pig through this question. So, if there is a pig, if the answer is none, it will go back to the move forward, go back to the move forward. And if there is a pig already, the answer will become yes, and then it will end the program. So, that's the flow chart. Okay, let's move on. Then we'll click run. Okay, so let's move on now. Level 11. So, my question si Sir Jeffrey Isla, ma'am, Jen, may batch 2 po ba ito? Sali po, sana ang asawa ko po na teacher din. Yes, there's a possibility po that I will conduct batch 2 for this webinar. Yes, uh, please expect that one. I will conduct batch 2. I will just post the schedule in our chat room, uh, in our messenger. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. Now, I will solve this puzzle. So, just like before, actually, this is similar to our previous level, but this time, there's no number of steps repeated. So, what we will do is just copy what we have done a while ago. Move forward. Ah, but this time, the, the pig and the angry bird has been interchanged. So, the angry bird now is on the bottom part. So, this time, the command will be turn left. And then instead of using number, just like what I have shown you in the flowchart, um, the test will become if there is a pig. So if there is a pig, the repeat will be stopped. So this is the solution, and then we will run.
Now, let's proceed to level 12. Okay, so this time we will be coding, um, what do you call this game? Plants vs. Zombies. So, we are going to code the zombie to move towards the uh, sunflower because it, that is the only thing that it can eat to gain energy. So, the, the zombie will gain energy if it is able to eat sunflower. <laughs> Okay, so can I solve right now or we need to wait for the others? Okay, anyway, I will give you 30 seconds again. I will be answering questions. Yes, regarding po doon sa nakatapos na, so those who are finished and already have their certificate shown, the, as I mentioned, the certificate is in a picture or in a JPEG mode or pwede rin PNG. So, you can actually right-click it and save as picture if you are not able to print right now. So, kung pwede nyo i-print right now, wait, pwede na. Pero, if not, you can save it as picture and print later. Okay, so later na po yun para sa iba, no? So, let us show the solution. So, this time we will just move in a zigzag motion until it reaches the sunflower. So, repeat until sunflower and our movement will be move forward, turn left, and another move forward, and turn right para bumalik siya dun sa dati niyang position. So, it should go back to its original position para mabalik, ma-repeat lang niya yung movement. Okay? So, let's run. Brains. Move forward, left, forward, left. Forward, left, forward, and right. Yes. It will not stop the action until it reaches the sunflower. So we're done. Now, let's proceed to level 13. Okay, so next, this one is almost similar, but this time, the, the zombie is facing an obstacle, which is the eater plant. So, we don't want the zombie to get there because it will be eaten. So, let us think how you're going to, how you're going to give command to the zombie so that it will move away from the eater plant. Another 30 seconds. Yes, ma'am. Ay, Katrina Valencia, I'm having fun. Yes, thank you, ma'am. It's really fun doing this exercise. So, while waiting, just really one second, okay. So, those who have not subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button right now. This is a, a form of support for our channel. And also, to keep you updated with our next video. Yes, thank you. And we will solve now. So, the the first thing you can do is we can actually just interchange the command. So, instead of giving a forward command for the first movement, our f first command now will become turn right. Turn right. Okay, so turn right so, so that it will go away or it will not it will be facing away from the obstacle and then move forward and then what's next turn left turn left and then move forward so after the last command which is move forward so what will happen is turn right move forward turn left move forward and move forward so it will be facing this way right in the last command but it will go back to the first command which is turn right so there's no problem it will repeat the loop until it reaches the sunflower. So, let us run. Brains. So, just like that. Forward, left. Yes. Yes, we're done. So, let's proceed to the le next level. Ah, 
Okay, so in this level, now add another code has been added into the source. So this is what we call, so again we have the movement code. This one is a repeat code. And the last code that has been added is what we call the logic code. Or others call it sequen uh, um, conditional. Conditional statement or logic. Okay. So, uh, pre-made uh, code. Pre-made code is already inserted. So, the gray code means we, we are not allowed to delete this one. So, all we need to do is just to add a code on what code you think is lacking for so that the program will run so that the so that the zombie will reach the sunflower okay so as you can see by analyzing we have moved forward and the logic is asking if there is a path to the left and basically i cannot change this one it is asking path to the left because the direction going to the anger bear i sorry anger bear <laughs> that was a while ago because the direction going to the sunflower is actually going to the left. So that means you are asking the zombie to trace its left. If there is a pathway to the left. Okay. And then this is just as the word implies. If you are, if you are uh, measuring or sensing the left side, then basically you want to turn to the left side. As simple as that. So just add turn left into the logic code which is asking if there is a path to the left and then you add turn left and then it will just repeat repeat until it reaches the sunflower so what actually happens here is this logic here is asking right and if the answer is no what will happen it will not do the action inside it it will just skip so to show you the flow chart this is the flow chart for sorry for level 14 or, yes are, we are in level 14 so as you can see in level 14 again we have moved forward and this is the logic so when run so the first command will be move forward this one and then this is the logic that is asking is there a path to the left so if the answer is yes to the is there a path to the left question, then what will happen is it will answer yes, then it will give command turn left. So what will happen is if the answer is no, there is no path to the left, there will be an error in the program. You will have an error and then the, then the program will stop. Or if you are controlling a robot, your, your, your robot will bump into an obstacle. So it, so what are we doing here is we are making sure that the left side is open and, and the zombie can pass through. So that's it. So again, if the answer is none, it will just skip the turn left. It will go directly to the next question, which is, is there a sunflower? So if there's, if there's no sunflower yet, the answer is none, it will go back to the first command, which is move forward. And then... Repeat again, and then repeat again the the question. If there's path to the left, if none, uh, skip. If there is, turn left. And then if it reaches the sunflower, the answer will become yes, and then it will end. Okay, so just write your question if you have in the chat room. Yes, uh, we will move on now. So click run, and then. Let's proceed to the next level. Okay, next level is level 15. So this is just like the last puzzle, but you need to remember how you use the if block and the repeat block together. So this time, uh, there was there is no provided preset block, so all uh, it will be on your own. You will be on your own. Sorry, 
you'll be on your own to, to create your own blocks using the if block which is the logic block and or the so called conditional block so i will give you another 30 seconds to answer before we we reveal the answer So we have 8 seconds left. It's time. So let us reveal. Okay. So in this problem, actually we just need to do just like before. But this time, instead of priority left, we will do priority right. What I mean is we need to ask the zombie to test its right direction if there is a pathway. So that it will move always to the right and then it will rotate in a clockwise direction so that it will reach the sunflower. So let us see what will happen. So move forward, then add an if block or the logic block. Then if there's path to the right, so make sure that it is asking if there's path to the right so that it will move in a clockwise direction until it reaches the sunflower. And then if there's path to the right, turn right. That's all. So as you can see, we did not reach the maximum or we did not um, or we did not use more than the maximum number of blocks required or uh, allowed so you we use only five blocks so let's run let's try to run it now Brains. Yes, so I can see that some of you have already finished. Anyway, we will just continue. So now let's proceed to level 16. We're almost done. This time we will program the... Okay. This square, we'll call on the square to so that it will reach the acorn. For a moment, guys, I'm having a problem with my internet. Okay, see, si Mam Joan Baluwag while waiting for the internet. Ma'am Joan Baluwag is asking, sir, pwede po pa-share sa email link ng video webinar para balikan ko na lang po sana to do it step by step. Late po kasi ako. Thanks po. Yes, ma'am. Uh, most probably. Uh, surely po pala. Surely. Kasi magpapadala po ako ng email after this webinar. So, after this webinar, immediately maging magsisend po sa inyo ng email, ng link, yung para sa replay po nitong webinar na to. So, don't worry about that. A uh, replay a uh, link for the replay for this webinar will be sent to you. Yes, ma'am. Joanne Baluwa. Okay. For a moment, I'm having a problem with my internet connection. Okay. 
This way for a moment, I'm just gonna check or debug my internet connection. Um, okay, I will answer some question muna, sir. May... Anto Milano Florino Sir level 16 na po ako pwede po ba tapusin later may gagawin po ako Yes sir definitely pwede po ninyong tapusin later So you masi-save naman po yung automatic sa code.org so you can leave and you can log in again later in code.org then you can continue Ano tayo? Okay, so we will continue now with level 16. Okay, so as you can see, we will continue now. I will not give a uh, time limit already in, in anymore because uh, we've already lagged a while ago. So, let us see. What can we do with this for the solution? What will be the solution for this problem? Okay, so, a corn. So, again, we, let's add a repeat until it, it reaches an acorn. So this time we will be using the squirrel to reach the acorn and then what will happen so move forward I think we can just copy just just like a while ago so but this time we will uh, test if there's a path if there's path to the left if there's path to the left, then what will happen? You make the squirrel turn left. Ah, level, uh, Ma'am Amy Calatrava is asking level 15. Would you like to repeat level 15, Ma'am? Yes po, pwede
Hello, so we're back. <laughs> I'm sorry po for the day, uh, for the, ano tawag dito? I'm sorry for, because we encountered some problem in our internet. I hope you're back. So we will just continue. Okay, uh, let's wait for a couple of minutes for others. Okay, so I think while waiting for the others, we can continue with our activity. We're now at level 16. So I think while waiting for okay, so I think I have a, I was able to write the code uh, for this one a while ago. So we'll just continue. Move forward. I'm really sorry for a while ago. Um, I hope others will uh, come back for the continuation. Okay, so turn left. Anyway, we're almost done, so we'll just continue this until the last part, then uh, I will demonstrate how you will get your certificate. Okay, so I think while waiting for... Okay, so I think I have... Uh, I was able to... Write the code uh, for this one a while ago, so we'll just continue. Forward. Yes, we will continue. I'm really sorry for a while ago. Um, yes, sir, level 18. Yeah. Yes, we're almost there. Okay, let's proceed to level 17. So we'll just uh, solve this um, directly. No, no waiting time. I think uh, most of you uh, are already done. Please just give uh, right in the chat room if you have requests or what level, level you want to show, to be shown. Okay, so this is just the opposite of the previous level. So move forward, then uh, instruct the squirrel to check if there's path to the right so this time we will Almost use done, path so to the right the turn right part, then... uh, i will demonstrate how you will get your certificate okay, so I think... 
Now let's proceed to level 18. Okay, so in level 18, another block has been added which is, we call this if-else block. So the if a while ago has only one slot inside the if, but this time we have the word else on another slot. Yes, we are we having problem with our audio? I'm really sorry for a while ago. Um, yes, sir. Level 18 nya Yes, we're almost there. Okay, so just like before. So this time, we'll just uh, solve this um, directly. No, no waiting time. I think uh, most of you uh, are already done. Please just give uh, right in the chat room if you have requests for a moment. Level, level you want to show. Okay, let's continue. So this time, let's think uh, of how we are going to command the uh, squirrel to reach the acorn. So at this time, we cannot give a command of a priority left or priority right. This time, we will give priority forward because if we will give priority right, it will go to the to the dead end, and priority left, dead end, right, dead end. So it should have a priority forward so this time we will encode uh, put first or include first the if path ahead so this is correct if path ahead move forward okay so uh, to explain this type of block is actually there is a second option if the test is false or uh, is not correct so meaning the the microcontroller will, will test if there's path ahead if there's no path ahead what will happen is it will do the else command or the, the the command that is inside the else so what we will do now is if there's no path ahead what your squirrel what do you want to do uh, for the squirrel to do so as you can see our rotation for this path is counterclockwise and if there's no path ahead the only direction it can go is going to the left so you want to command it to turn left okay turn left so that means if there's path ahead move forward if there's no path ahead turn left so that it will move towards the acorn so let's try it. So, any questions? So, Mom Sheila is still working for level 18. Okay, so... By the way, let's go back to level 18 because I'm going to show you first the The flow chart for the level 18. Okay. Okay, so this is the equivalent flowchart for the level 18. 
So as mentioned, um, this time the first command that will be given inside the loop is to test if there's path ahead. So again, this is another um, conditional statement. Is there a path ahead? If yes, it will give command to move forward. If none, it will give command to turn left. Okay. So this time there there is uh, it will not skip the move forward, but instead it will give command to turn left. That's that's the meaning of else. Okay, so that that's what the else means. So else means this is the action that the program will or the code will do if the first test is false. Okay, so those who are working with level 18, you may copy right now. Okay, let's move to the level 20. Okay. So in level 20, one more practice. If the if-else block... Ah, sorry, it's level 19. Level 19. We're now on level 19. So one more practice of the if-else block. Can you get it right? If you're on your first try, okay. So actually, this we can use similar program from level 18. So the only difference is we will just interchange or we'll just change the instead of turning left, we will use turn right. So repeat until a corn if path ahead forward. If there's no path ahead, okay, I, I will encode first the forward. If there's no path ahead, what will I do or what will the squirrel do? It will turn left. i sorry, it will turn right. Sorry about that. It will turn right. So that it will make a clockwise direction. Okay, so those who are already in, please inform um, others that I have sent the new link to them so that they can rejoin the, our classroom. I'm really sorry about a while ago. That will not happen again in, uh, on my next webinar. Sorry, sorry. I just accidentally set the YouTube into auto-stop. That's why it, it, it just auto-stop when the signal was lost. Okay, so we'll try to run this one. Anyway, if they will not be able to join um, for this web for this live webinar now, the link will still be sent to them. The link for the replay for this one will still be sent to them. Okay. Okay, so we're done. Now for the last stage. Okay, so this is the last stage. Okay, so in level 20, there's already a preset code, colored gray. So all we need to do is just put the command. Are you done already with this level? Since we have a lag time a while ago. Okay, so we're going to solve now. Let's check first the chat room. Uh, there's a question from Ayan Santos. May susunod po bang activity? Enjoy po. Eh, eh, eh. Yes, ma'am, definitely. I will uh, try to find some other activity that we can do for our next webinar. Um, Ayan Santos.
Yes, so the Trishaline de la Rosa is done already. Okay, so we're going to solve this one. So move, if there's path ahead, move forward. And then, of course, eh, this time, the meaning of this one is this is forward priority. So move forward priority. So if there's path ahead, the first thing that the microcontroller will will uh, the controller will test if there's a path ahead if there's a path ahead forward so if there's a path to the right of course we are going to encode turn to the right a uh, turn right uh, just like it's just like a as the word implies so else if there's no path to the right then we're going to turn left so that's the other way, uh, the other option. So it is actually testing all of the options, all the possible um, path that it can go. So if there's no forward, it will test if there is right. If, if there's no right, the last command will be to turn left. So before I press the run button, So before we before we play the run button, I will show again the flowchart for this level twenty. So in this flowchart, the first command will be to test if is there a path ahead. If the answer is yes, move forward. So if the answer is none, what will happen is test again. Is there a path to the right? If the answer is none. Is there a path to the right? If yes, turn right. If none, turn left. Ah, with there's uh, I would just wanna ask answer the question from Christopher Claro. May makukuha pa po kami certificate bukod po dito. Ah, sir, the Certificate that you can get is only from code.org for this webinar because we are under or following the hour of code by code.org. So, um, I cannot give you other certificates. So, I'm sorry about that, sir. So, yun po yung may bigyan natin yan. Yung code.org na galing po sa kanila. Yes, ma'am. I, I, Katrina, Valencia, please update us for new webinars. Yes, ma'am. Since you are subscribed, uh, since you have subscribed from my webinar um, subscription page, I will definitely send you emails for my next webinar. Yes. Um, Rupric Vincent Gabato, sir, ano po kaya next nito na webinar? For now, I cannot answer that, sir, pero I will check for other activities in code.org. Pwede po yan, so keep, uh, please, ano na lang po, watch, watch out. So, as you can see, in this code, the, the, the command, um, I mean, the square will only do one action. So, it will only choose one action. Kung ano lang yung nag sa kanila. No? So, kung false lahat, of course, kasi dalawa lang yung test natin, nag if the ahead is false, the, tur the path to the right is false, the last command will be, of course, the last choice, which is turn left. Okay. So, that will be for our last level. And then, after completing the level, yes, Let's complete first. So after completing this level, you click after clicking finish, you will be sent to the page where you can create your certificate.
Yes, so this is the page where you can uh, print your certificate. So this is a certificate of completion for completing the Hour of Code webinar. So uh, I think somebody, I, I read someone's chat a while ago that his certificate has no name. Baka uh, hindi lang po ninyo nalagyan ng pangalan. So, please take note po. Put your name. Personalize your certificate. So, you need to write your complete name in this area. So, for example, I'm going to write my name. Yes. So, Kid Arthur D. Poncardas. And then, click Submit. Yes. Are you following? If you are already in this page, if not yet, then you can rep you can uh, have a, re a replay of this um, video, and then you can create later. Those who are not yet finished with the activity. So just click the submit button, and then the certificate of completion in uh, PNG mode will be shown. Okay, let's try to click it and enlarge. I think I'm just having a problem with, with my internet right now. That's why my name is not shown. But definitely that will be shown now. You can go back to this page later if you want to reprint your or to review your certificate of completion. We just proceed to the classic maze later. I will uh, demonstrate. Um, I think this picture is a little bit large. That's why it's not viewing. Uh, it's lagging. Ferdinand Paya, well, sir, pwede po makita yung 720 na lito kasi. Okay, sir, um, Tingnan po natin, sir, no, Ferdinand Paya, well, Si medyo naglalag na po yung internet. Okay, so I hope you got the instruction on how to get your certificate, just like what I did a while ago. So, personalize it by writing your complete name, then submit. And then you can right-click this one or click this one to view the enlarged picture. Then this picture, medyo lag lang po siya, but this picture, you can download this one or you can copy or you can print directly. But I think I suggest um, you copy this in a picture format and then you, you paste this into the Word. Um, kung ano man ang size nito and then you can print. Yeah. 
Okay, so para kay Sir Payawal po since Sir Ferdinand Payawal, I'm sorry po Sir since naglalag na po yung internet. Um, and then patapos na rin naman po yung webinar. Pwede niyo pong i-replay na lang itong video na to. So I will send you the link for this video for you to replay. And then nan yun makikita niyo po yung solutions for number 17 to 20. So now at this point, we are going to we are about to end our webinar. But for the information of everyone, okay, so basta pag may question pa po kayo, pwede niyo po akong email doon sa email ad po na nagsisend sa inyo sa curiousblogs at gmail.com and then so tingnan lang po natin sa saglito bago tayo magtapos kung may mga questions pa kayo yes kay ma'am Bibi Ruth hoping to have another hour with uh, your webinar sir yes ma'am definitely we will have another webinar thank you very much for your interest so by the way before we end no um may ipapadala po na email sa inyo na link para sa video na ito yung link po na naipadala ng 6 pm naipadala na po ng 6 pm ay yung link lang ng part 1 but i will send another video another email i will send another email para sa link ng part 2 since na hati po sa dalawa ito dahil sa problem no so may part 1 part 2 tayo i will send the link for the part 2 replay so may part 1 replay tayo part 2 replay and then we, may link po tayo doon sa first email na pinadala sa inyo at 6 pm ng evaluation form para po sa especially sa mga nakapanood pwede rin naman yung naka, mga kapanood ng replay pwede niyo rin i-evaluate so please evaluate my webinar through the evaluation form and I would like to thanks everyone for your active participation. And also, I would like to thank Ma'am Jenny Lu for the active support and participation in our chat room and in this webinar. Thank you, Ma'am. So, thank you for attending this webinar. Support us by subscribing. I can see that uh, most of you has already subscribed. So, hindi ko na po kayo pinipilit pero this is a form of support for us. Subscribe to our channel. Click the subscribe button. If you haven't subscribed yet. So, see you on our next webinar. Thank you very much and good day. So, bago ako magtapos, hina natin kung may pahabol pa na question. Sir, ang certificate po na min ay yung nakuha po namin wala po sa mismong webinar po. Ano po? Ma'am, yung certificate po, uh, question ni Ma'am, sino ba ito? Jeff, ay, sir pala. Jeffrey Isla, sir Jeffrey Isla, sir, sir. Yes, sir, yung certificate po na makukuha niyo ay yung nasa code.org. Yun po yung pinakita ko kanina sa demonstration. Ah, uh, by the way, wag, okay, wag po muna ko yung mag -out. By the way, I forgot to mention, for the extra topic, may extra topic po pala ako, no? The extra topic will be sent to you, uh, a video for the extra topic will be sent, sent to you through your email. The same email na pinapadalan ko po ng email, a uh, link to that extra topic will be sent. Siguro isasabay ko na lang din yung extra topic, tsaka itong part 2 na link. Yun po yung extra topic natin ay yung um, demonstration on how to create a section and a section and activity in code.org for teachers. So, that is teacher account. Okay. So, antayin po ninyo yung email. Uh, uh, tawag dito. Immediately, I will send po the email to you immediately after this webinar. So, recorded na yung video how to create a section and activity in code.org. That is for teachers only. So, I'm sorry for those who registered as students. Ang mapapadalang ko lang po ng email ay for teachers. But anyway, yung students naman, if you want to, ano, um, for students, uh, in the future, if you will be teachers, then you can still access that, um, ano, activity or extra, extra topic if you will register as teacher later. Okay, so, that's all. So, God bless po sa lahat. So, thank you very much for giving your time in this webinar.
So again, I'm very very sorry for what, what happened a while ago. Um, marami pong na, na eh, hindi na bumalik 63. But anyway, babalik din sila kapag naipadala ko na po yung uh, replay for this video. So, yun. Thank you very much. Nakikita ko po ang dami pong interested. So, hindi ko rin po in-expect na ganito, na ganong karami. So, I'm, I really want to thank everyone. And then, see you on our next webinar. God bless po. Let us stay safe at home hanggat hindi po, po natatapos yung quarantine. Sana okay tayong lahat. Sana okay po tayong lahat. So, maraming maraming salamat ulit. And see you on our next webinar again. Thank you. Bye-bye.